verses 12 to 13. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. The Blame Game Often, our human nature wants praise if we have done something well, but we always look for someone to blame if things go wrong. The blame game started with our original parents. Adam blamed God for giving him Eve, who tempted him. Eve blamed the serpent for her actions of eating the forbidden fruit. We like to blame our mistakes on the devil or our spouses, children, employees, employers, and even God Himself. However, the word sin brings us to a sense of responsibility that we have done something wrong and we are responsible for our actions. In Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21, Paul gives us some list of sins, sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. Many of these sins can be seen from the outside. Our flesh is often in constant conflict with the spiritual things God desires in us. We can go to church and look like pious Christians but we are just putting on a mask in reality. Jesus said that the sins inside our hearts could destroy our lives. Sin is a serious offense against God. To summarize, remember the four principles when we sin. 1. We should not blame others. 2. Take personal responsibility for our actions. 3. Repent. And four, by His grace, never repeat it again. Our sin and His holiness cannot go together. Prayer Lord, I admit that I am a sinner. I am not perfect and I take full responsibility. Forgive me and please Lord over my life. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. 